three seconds. That's all it takes to create stunning professional designs for your print on demand business with this amazing, completely free platform. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how I use Gentube to create designs for print on demand, and you will see how this completely free platform lets you generate everything for your print on demand business. And the best part, Gentube's commercial use license allows you to legally sell products featuring these designs, putting money directly in your pocket with zero upfront design costs. So let's jump into it. You will find the link in the description that will take you directly to gentube.app where you can sign up using your Google account and then you will be asked to choose uh, a name and create an identity for your profile. So once you're in, you will find lots of designs from that are generated from previous users of the platform. You can check all the designs or any design style you like and if you press on it, you can save it your favorites or get a copy of the prompt that is used to create this design. On the left side, you will find the main menu of Gentube. So if you press on the Gen style, this will take you to this generation image generation menu where we are going to test how fast this is. So I'm just going to write a shark. And within two seconds, you can see that the, the website generate an image. And you can regenerate any image using this button here at the bottom. So let's add a scary shark. And again, it doesn't even wait until you finish your typing and start start generating a new image based on the updated prompt so let's add wearing a hat and again within two seconds we get a new image of a shark wearing a hat these images are generated in a real style format so let's write vector style because this is what we want for print on demand and we get a funny cool image in a vector style format so i'm going to add t-shirt design and see what we're going to get and this is also a very nice style that can be easily added for t-shirt shirts with text so i'm going to test the how the platform uses text so i'm writing with the text i am it doesn't even wait until i finish and generate images so with the text i'm scary and all the generated images now are being generated in the vector style with a new text and this is a nice cool design and the text looks correct and perfect so let's remove wearing a hat and add wearing boxing gloves and oversized sports shoes and as you you can see this is how quickly you're going to generate images this is a very nice cool image and by the way this is the actual speed of the video i'm not speeding it up or something this is how fast it works and you can go back to any of the generated images using the menu below so all the generated images are saved in your creation tab if you press on the share button you can share the, this image or you add it to the favorites or regenerate a new image as we have done before so let's press on these on this tab above this will show four drop down boxes on each side of the image so you can press on any of these drop down box to see the styles that can be chosen by gentube you can choose any style they have and if you move the circle towards any of these styles this will regenerate an image using or following the style that is near your circle so this is the same prompt to the same image regenerated in a cyber punk style looks very nice if you remove the background you can definitely use it you use it on print on demand um, products so let's remove the text and again add on a plain black background and again with a couple of seconds we get a new image so let me remove the with the text the words with the text and again within two to three seconds we get a new image this one is also nice and this is how fast you can generate images on gentube and even change the style using an on-screen cursor from the right side you can even use the subject or the place tabs to add places or subject to your image and you can save blocks or places that you can use quickly and add it to the image to regenerate a new one using these saved places so for example if we press on the nature it will be added below the prompt above and the image will be regenerated using using the nature place so let's remove it and re and go back to the previous image actually let's go to this one and add the city place and again a new image is going to be generated in a city atmosphere and if you press on the style you also have a couple of saved styles that you can use to generate your images so let's press on the high quality realism and see what we're gonna get and this time we get our image generated in a realistic style but of course this is 
not perfect for print on demand but a really nice style so if we press on the create style we can name our style and describe what style we would like to have and we can create it and this will be saved under the my blocks section so that you can always refer back to it to quickly generate images under this saved style and you can also do the same under places so let's add for example a hockey field this is the name of it and you can press on the preview button to see how it's going to generate an image using the description that you have entered so this is a hockey field it's a realistic one so let's press on the create button and this will add the hockey field below the prompt and regenerate the image using the place that you have added with the, the original prompt and if you don't like the image you can press on the regeneration button and this will create a new image again this looks a little bit weird but you can keep regenerated regenerating the image until you find something that you like and again you can switch between the my blocks and the default blocks of the subjects the places the emojis and the styles and this is how you can use a gen style to create images on gen 2 now let's go back to our home screen and this time we're going to press on the gen style button and this will take us to a new window where we can create a prompt and use one of the default styles provided by gentube gentube provides eight different styles the anime the pixel art the watercolor the baroque the baroque and the minimalist cyberpunk realism and abstract so i'm going to write a fox with a sly expression and as you can see very quickly an image is being generated with the prompt that i have entered and you can switch or change any of the styles you can select any of the styles that you have on the screen and this will very quickly change the, the style of the generated image to the style that you have so this is the prompt in a pixel art style and this is the watercolor style watercolor style and this is a very cool style that i definitely like so let's press on the cyberpunk style and again a nice image in a cyberpunk style the minimalist is also great for print on demand i can definitely use it with even creating logos the baroque style is more of a realistic style and realism also is very nice but not for print on demand and the abstract style is also great for print on demand so again let's move the circle towards the minimalist um, style or the minimalist minimalist button and this will recreate the image with a minimalistic style so if we take it towards the realist we get an image in a realistic style and again you can change any of these four drop down styles and choose any one of the main eight styles that gentube provides and again in a matter of seconds between two to three seconds you will get a newly generated image so let's add the vector style to our prompt and this will is going to recreate the image in a vector style format this is a really cool image that i can definitely use for print on demand after removing the background <laughs> or let's um write a playful and eye-catching fox with a sly expression and again we get a newly generated image with cute eye-catching fox face in a matter of seconds so let's try adding t-shirt design in the prompt and see what we are going to get so we get a background that is different this this fox is not the perfect face so let's see let's add with the text clever by nature and see what we're going to get and again the the text is correct the style is nice but i don't like the, the frame that is behind the fox so let's try to add on a plain background on a plain black background and even while we are typing we the new images are being generated so this is the image and this is really nice style that i can definitely use for print on demand and again you can always go back to the previously generated images using the bottom menu or by going back to your profile tab and check the images from there now this is an image that i have created using this long prompt design a fun t-shirt showcasing a hip kangaroo boxing with an oversized oversized gloves so let me show you what you can do from the menu the bottom menu so if you press on this button here so if you press on the heart icon this is going to save your design in your favorites but if you press here this will take you your design to a new menu where you can randomly generate images without even writing a prompt so if you press the arrows up and down this will randomize the layout the lighting and the style so switch them on and off so if you press on them if you highlight any of them 
they will keep the current style and randomize the other two tabs so just by pressing the arrows up and down your current image will be regenerated in different style lighting and layout so let's keep the current lighting the new neon cyberpunk and press on the down button and this will change the layout and the style so let's keep the lighting and style and press down this will change the layout and just by clicking the upper and lower arrows this will generate new images in different style without even writing a prompt so let me show you how you can edit one of the previously generated images well just go back to your profile choose one of your previously generated images just go back to your profile choose one of the previously generated images so let's pick this one for example or you can use the prompt box below the image to edit the image so for example this kangaroo box this kangaroo image i'm going to write wearing a hoodie and a new image of the kangaroo with the hoodie will be generated in a couple of seconds so let's add this time one tail because the image has the kangaroo has two tails so now a new image with one longer tail is being generated with the kangaroo wearing the hoodie so let's add let's write add sneakers or let's add uh, let's write add sports shoes and in within two seconds a new image is being generated and we can see that now the kangaroo has sports shoes on very nice images in a very nice style and again all gentubes images are available for commercial use again if we press on the swipe button this will take us to the random style generator you can press on the style lighting and layout to to keep it saved and change it as we have seen before and the last feature that we're going to test is to use gentube.app from your mobile phone so just open in your normal internet browser log into gentube.app and this is my history of image generations so you can access it uh, normally and the the one of the advantages of gentube is that you can generate images using your phone as quickly as we have seen in the desktop version so this is me using the gentube.app on my phone so i'm generating images using the same features that we have tested the create and the gen style features and this is how fast you can generate images on your phone so this is also a great advantage of the app so that you can generate images on the go using your phone and in a couple of seconds similar to the, the desktop version so that was a quick tutorial on how to use gentube.app a free unlimited ai image generation model that can be tailored to your print-on-demand business using some of the prompts, the styles that we have seen throughout the video. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't so far. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.